Hi, this is Greg with Mechanist Games. Some of you have been asking how we make levels for City of Steam, so today we'd like to give you a step-by-step -step look at the process of creating a dungeon. Let's get started. The first step is to choose a theme. In City of Steam we use tile sets to create most of the dungeons or instance areas in the game. Using tile sets lets us keep the file size small and allows players to move between levels of the same tile set without having to wait for assets to download. For this example, let's use the archives tile set. So once we've decided on a tile set, we can start laying out the shape of the level. Tile set 3 and 25 by 25. Create. The grid shows the total amount of playable space we've defined. Each square is about 5 by 5 meters. So when I drag the mouse, you can see that the space gets filled in with random tiles. I use these tiles to define the basic shape of the level. I can click a space to add or remove a tile. Once I'm satisfied with the shape of my level, I can start to add more detail. And if I change my mind about a part of the level, I can just erase it. Every tile set has a special set of prefab rooms we can use to add landmarks or to give areas a distinct look or purpose. We use these brightly lit stairwells to mark out dungeon entrances and exits. Once the layout is done, we can switch to the furniture editor and start adding detail. I like to start with doors. We also like to add secret passages in the dungeons to reward observant players. So if you look at our level, you'll notice that the floor and wall tiles are all random. What I'm going to do now is go back through the level and clean up these tiles. Now that we've cleaned up the floors and walls, it's time to add some detail. Let's give the archives a few bookcases. Next, let's add some borders around the stone floors. We can drop in some torches to light the room. We can add a few trees and vines to go with the overgrown look of the tile set. Now let's drop in some barrels and crates for the player to smash. These tables are also destructible. Almost forgot about our secret passages. Let's drop a treasure chest in here. Now we need to specify what kind of loot might drop from the chest. Now let's lock it up. So the last thing we need to add are monsters. Let's open the mob editor and take a look at our options. Let's take you, and you, and you. Okay, looks like we're ready to try our level out. Wait a minute. We forgot something. Every level needs at least one portal so that we can enter and exit. So let's drop in a portal. And we are all set. Let's try it out. So, we hope you've enjoyed our look at level design for City of Steam. If you'd like to know more, you can visit us on the forum. And be sure to sign up for our newsletter for all the latest news and updates on City of Steam. See you next time.